Hey everyone, it's Peak. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. Today I have a great one for you. I'm going to be playing Eldegoss, which in my opinion is probably one of the top three characters in the game currently, or at least based on what we saw in the Japanese network test. So uh, you'll actually see as well another one of probably the strongest characters in the game. Um, Alola Ninetales is going to be in the same lane with me, and this is an extremely potent lane. Both of these characters are ranged. Um, so, you know, there is some drawbacks to being ranged. You don't do as much damage as a melee character, but just the fact that you're able to poke people out and lock them down as a Lowland Ninetales with this combo and the sustain you get from the Eldegoss shields, the heals, that all that stuff, and just the kiting potential like you'll see here. We just, we have that Gibble already locked down just due to the, the inherent slow from uh, a Lowland Vulpix, you know, not even Ninetales yet. Uh, from the Alolan Vulpix ability, so really easily able to pick up a double kill here in the lane super early. We're able to now like take their farm that they didn't get to because you saw they came up to that mid farm to contest. Now we do see the Absol show on the map here, so we do back off that other Audino, uh, but we were able to get one as well as you know the double kill and get our points off early. So we're already off to a solid start here. And uh, it's gonna be, gonna be a super fun match as you guys will see. So really like we've already kind of shown our dominance in this lane and <laughs> essentially they can't really do anything. With Snorlax and Gibble in this lane against a double ranged comp like this, it's really making it hard for them to even walk up on us, which you'll see is like pretty much their only option right here and it's what they're trying to do. So like they have the right idea, they just, they just severely underestimate the amount of kiting potential we have and the ability I have to, to heal up my Alolan Ninetales and just keep them healthy and able to just keep constantly casting and constantly using auto attacks on on them. <laughs> so you see, like, I'm literally just, like, staying in melee range to a Gibble, which really shouldn't be possible, but just due to the sheer power of the heals as Eldegoss, it's just crazy. Now, um... You'll see I'm going to go Cotton Guard here, which I would say is just going to be the better case in every option. Cotton Guard is an extremely potent ability, gives your ally shield in an area around you, uh, and it's it's just crazy. And it also heals them for a little bit afterwards. So, like, I'm gonna tell you, like, Cotton Guard's always the way to go for your skill two, but for skill one, like, uh, there are some pluses and minuses to each um, and for Eldegoss like honestly, there's not really many minuses, but The reason I go pollen puff and the reason I like it more is just because you know, it rewards like good aim it rewards uh, knowing where your teammates are and who needs heals at a Specific time during an encounter. So I think like <laughs> you'll see here. It's kind of funny. We actually would have killed Gibble there, but uh, they evolved into Gabite, so you're actually invulnerable temporarily when you evolve and can't take any damage or be hit by skills. So, yeah, they actually were saved by their evolution there. So, you know, it sometimes come in clutch, but obviously you can't really plan around that. Uh, but sometimes you can, actually, if you know that you can last hit a, uh, like a wild Pokemon here that's nearby. Anyway, so we see the Absols here kind of back off and stuff. But, uh, as I was saying, like, just, I really like Paul and Puff. Uh, the other option is I'm honestly not even sure what it's called, but it's basically a ability that you use and it casts like a sort of like a whirlwind in front of you and gives your allies a a like speed lane to walk on and it can actually be super useful because not only does it do like quite a lot of damage, especially compared to what it used to do in the Canadian beta, it was not viable at all uh, back then, but like now, like based on the numbers that we saw in the Japanese network test, uh, it's it's looking really good, honestly. See, I get a little goal off here just to kind of bait uh, another attack from the Snorlax, which was successful. And now, like, we kind of have them where we want them. We're just to the point where <laughs> we've gotten so far ahead. We've gotten so much XP. You'll see um, we're level 8 and 9, respectively, to their 6 and 7. So we're just super far ahead. And we can really just kind of walk all over them. You see they got a triple kill up top, too. So I'm going to get this goal to one out of 80, which I did on purpose uh, because I saw I had four. So I wanted to ensure that I definitely get that cap. The thing is, if you're scoring uh, with under 10 points, so like one through nine, 
you can pretty easily just walk up. I mean, provided you don't get nuked, you can pretty easily just walk up and nobody attacks fast enough in this game for them to stop you with an auto attack. So eventually like just keep spamming the score button essentially and you will get to the point where you can actually score uh, those small, those very small values. So for me, I was going stacking items in this game. So that's why I wanted to do that as well as just to get that goal to one out of 80. Now, unfortunately, our Talon Flame capped 13 points in that goal where we could have, you know, capped a lot more <laughs> just due to the sheer uh, force we had here. And you see, this is kind of an unfortunate situation. We are 3v5 here. Uh, they in commit their entire team down here. Uh, but just due to the sheer sustain that I have here with Alone and the Ninetales, unfortunately, we can't save our Pikachu, but we're able to stay alive here and still do quite a lot of damage to the enemy team, uh, but we do need to back out now. You see that everyone is, again, uh, jumping down here and getting to uh, range where they can kill us. So definitely want to get out of that situation. Um, but, I mean, you're just seeing, like, it's, it's really hard for me to die as Eldegoss, and that is something you'll see if you're playing them, is that just the crazy sustain that Eldegoss has uh, you'll see, I think it's a pretty tactical back here because I see like my teammate as 1v3 top with this Rotom. So I know it's going to call. So I'm, I'm telling my teammates right now that they need to come up top uh, and make their way up there and stop like going so hard bot just because like we've already won there and we want to make sure we maintain our lead uh, everywhere else on the map. So you see like with a Rotom pushing, like it's, it's pretty, it's pretty dangerous. Uh, especially with three people up here with quite high score numbers. You see you got a 40, a 40, and a 17. And unfortunately, that uh, Icy Wind Blasts Rotom, it, like it knocks back Pokemon a little bit, so it knocked Rotom just like into range there. But, you know, not a huge deal because we wipe them out here. And again, it's another, another triple kill up here. And we're just going to roam down to Dreadnought because, as you'll see, it's about to about to spawn up in seven seconds pretty methodical game here i would say this is like textbook example of if you guys are looking for a game of just like how to push your lead and make sure you absolutely secure a win and unite like this game is something you're probably going to watch uh multiple times if you're just kind of wanting to see like how it looks at a very like at a very basic like textbook level of making sure you maintain your lead you see, like, we're already level 12. The enemy team's around, like, 9, 10. Some will probably be 11, but, I mean, we're about to be level 13 with that Dreadnought. We've gotten two Dreadnoughts so far in this game, and it's just, like, we're doing insanely well. Like, if you just look at the map, like, they only have the Tier 2 top goal left and, obviously, their home goal. So, like, we've pretty much wiped out their entire base, and it's about to be two minutes. So we're in a really good spot right now. I mean, what's going into my mind is just like we're looking, we're looking for picks such as this Alolan Ninetales pick right here. It is unfortunate that, that our Pikachu dies, and because we're farther ahead, um, it, Pikachu's respawn time is actually longer than Ninetales. You see, Ninetales just respawned. Pikachu still has seven seconds, which is kind of a bummer about this game sometimes. But uh, you know, it's all. I think the game is designed to be fun. Uh, to a casual audience as well. So, you know, that's kind of why they do that. Uh, we do see that um, Venusaur's already used Unite move here. Now, I'm going to use this and uh, evade the damage entirely from the Alolan Ninetales, which is super good for me uh, because you do become invulnerable when you're up in the air as Eldegoss. And you see, I was tanking a lot of damage there, but it really didn't matter because, like, the thing about Eldegoss is I'm providing so much support and sustain and shields to my team. Like, you do do damage as Eldegoss, <laughs> uh, but the thing is, like, you, you're really there for the utility. Um, and especially in lane, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. But, like, in an endgame team fight like this, it's really Pikachu. It's really Alolan Ninetales who are clearing everyone out. You see they got a quadra kill there easily are able to uh, box the enemy team out of Zapdos here. Now, uh, it is unfortunate that we are so low, but thankfully we get the last hit there. Uh, and it gives us a little bit of extra health. And you'll see, like, just look at the power that we have to be able to walk in with Eldegoss shields and straight up just, just mow down the enemy team. Like, we're all pretty healthy now, whereas, like, just a second before, we were super low health. Everyone but me, of course, because I died. We're just coming off a respawn, but 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a super good game. You can see <laughs> we're just at the point where, like, we're two levels ahead of them on pretty much every character on our team. So we can pretty much just chill here and and do battle with them. Like, no one's getting out of here um, and is able to get, like, towards our base. And, you know, the game's already almost over. So we just kind of stayed, hung out, had some fun. And you see, I mean, 775 to 140, pretty, pretty strong game. Our bottom lane did so well that they didn't even score any points in the bottom lane. So pretty crazy to see that. And uh, like I said, like a very textbook example of how to push your lead and how to ensure that like you're, you're maintaining that lead throughout the game and just growing it through objectives like Dreadnought, I would say is, is going to be like the key because that extra XP that you're getting as well as the shields just allow you to keep steamrolling, running over the enemy. Like the shields are so crazy and like it's not a lot, but like it makes a huge difference in a game like this where like you can't get a huge lead, you know? And until like the end of the game, you're not really seeing like big leads actually make a big difference but it's those little like advantages those little victories such as like at the beginning of the game you guys saw we took that audino like it's just little things like that uh after getting a double kill like punishing the enemy team taking their taking their camps in the jungle taking their buffs taking their little just wild pokemon along the way like all these little things you can do basically ensure that you will always be able to secure that victory so that's gonna do it for today if you guys enjoyed the eldegoss gameplay let me know down below let me know what else uh, you guys would like to see in terms of pokemon i do do have quite a quite a few more recorded videos uh still ready to go for you guys a lot of eldegoss actually so you might be seeing more of them um but yeah let me know what you guys want leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and uh subscribe if you're new to the channel would love to have you here in the community but uh, until next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out